that stuff now. I'm not. I'm not. I can't. It's got like a yellow ring around its neck. You better come here. Hurry. 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 <laughs> what? Like it's right. That Don't! Hurts. God. It's like. There's no snake in here. I'll die. I'll just die. <laughs> Planning with a purpose will be no more. One thing I'm deathly scared of. Snakes. Snakes. Here comes our dirt. Josie. Josie. Now that's how you do it. Mama, get in there and scrape it out. This is certified American Quarter Horse compost. Brought to you by She's a Fancy Therapy. We got five, y'all. <laughs> I thought for sure it would take more than that. What did it like? Twenty-five cubic feet? No. No, it's four cubic foot, just about per per thing. Judged it. I got five bags and only took one. <laughs> so sometimes your husband may be right. <laughs> sometimes. I don't think it needs any more dirt. 
you don't say. <laughs> Until this settles. So, tell us what you did here. What's the... So, what I've done here is, well, I haven't done it. Kevin has done it. Um, uh, we had a cedar log that was kind of, that needed to be kind of took out. So, we, we've, he cut it down for me. And this is what I'm using to make my raised bed here um, in the corner of the, of the porch. Um, I'm going to go get some of my plants because it's supposed to come a heavy rain o over the week. And so that maybe they can kind of get all watered in and everything. So um, I think now that I've got my dirt in, I think I'll go get to planting. I don't know what I'm going to do with these side things. Carrots. I got eggplants. Okay. Okay, so we've got the corner the corner planter in. Um, I've got some bok choy, I've got some Brussels sprouts, I've got some broccoli, I've got some eggplants and some more carrots, and I also have some more tomatoes. Don't look at the tomatoes. They need planting bad somewhere. Um, so, I kind of want maybe both of, both of the corner planters to look the same, but I do have one cleaned out and ready to go. So I am going to get it planted tonight. Um, hopefully I'll get the other one cleaned out and planted as well. So I think I'm going to go get to planting. I'm going to see how high some of these, how tall some of these things get so that I can plant some of the bigger ones in the back. So let's go plant. That sounds stupid. No, it sounds good. I have eight sweet potato slips left. I'm going to plant four on this side and four on the other side when I get it cleaned out. Um, I'm going to plant some carrots. I think I'll plant my carrots next. I'm definitely going to plant my br Brussels sprouts kind of around the, the e outer edge and then um, kind of go from there. Um, these what these do, what this sweet potato will do is they will make a vine and they will also have a, a fruit on the end of it. So that's kind of why I want them on the outside. They'll probably be easier to dig. Um, so, well, let's get going and see how it look, how it's going to look. Maybe try to space them out some, you know. When you're doing container gardening, uh, there is no right or wrong whatsoever. <laughs> then what I think I'm, what I'm going to do next is to space out everything where I kind of want it and see kind of how that looks and then kind of go from there that is Chinese cabbage so I'm really anxious to see how that grows this year I've never grew like that How long does the card say that it'll, it'll, it'll take those to mature? What? The carrots. These, these carrots, these are a white carrot. And it usually, um, it says matures in 40 to 50 days, 45 to 50 days. And I think I just broke that one. I don't know, may plant it anyway, see if it up. Uh... Break apart the little thing. Soil pack. I'm sure you can just replant it. I think I'm going to. It can't hurt, can he? Nah. What do y'all think? Looking good so far. We can just get all that rain, good rain on them. 
Pinch him in. Pinch him in. So will the sweet potatoes do what regular potatoes do and produce like multiple sweet potatoes? Yes. So I'm hoping I have enough room. <laughs> And that's the Japanese. This is the Japanese cabbage. I think I'll put it kind of in between. I don't know what to do with it. But I think I'm going to do like I do the tomato plants and kind of take off some of these bottoms just because make it look healthier. easy. It does make planting easy. So y'all all do know that if I can venture out on a limb, you can too. It's always re very rewarding to have vegetables and um, fruit that you've raised. I don't know. It just makes you, makes you feel kind of a little happy about yourself. At least it does me. It makes me feel accomplished, like accomplished. I've actually did something. They look dry. They do. They're going to need a good watering. Mm. A good, good watering. But I think they're all happy that they've got soil. Yes. Always jealous of each other. Get down. Get down. Millie. Get down, Millie. Get down. Good girl. Okay. One thing I noticed right off the bat that I should have done. Should have started with the back plants first. I did not, and now I'm struggling. So, one, one word of advice. Plant the farthest away and come forward. <laughs> Oh, I would not do that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that either. <laughs> okay. This is Bro broccoli. Broccoli. Very cool. Very cool. Let's just go with the outside edges on that. Let's just see what we can do here. We have wore out these dogs. They never lay down. Yes, I will pick up my trash. <laughs> I promise you. Are you going to put one bok choy in the center? What? How, how big does, does bok choy get? Uh, you know what I think? Since um, I did cut my lettuce today. I had to cut my lettuce because it was... Um, getting really, really big, and we are going to have it for supper tonight. Um, so I think I may go up there and plant my bok choy in that tub. So that may be what's next in that container. Those are Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. I cut off the video. Oh, these are Brussels sprouts. Won't well, Brussels sprouts get, like, tall? They will, and I'm thinking that the bro broccoli will, too. I did not read how tall they get. You know all that information that is on here? <laughs> the broccoli matures in 90 days, and it likes full sun. And it does not say how tall it gets. Well... We will see. This will be a learning experience. It sure will. For us all. Uh-oh. Don't really know what that came off of. Oh, right there. 
Oops. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, whoopsie. What is that? That's my eggplant. I just know this is going to be the most beautiful thing. <laughs> Looks really pretty right now. Yeah. Couple of eggplants. Now eggplants, they they do what um, like your zucchini and stuff do, right? Well, they'll get tall, kind of like your peppers. Oh, okay. And let's see, it takes them eighty days to mature. That seems like such a long time away. It will be, but it goes so fast. And I have a big shout out to my daughter. She graduates this weekend. Whoop whoop. So she will have her four year degree down degree in agriculture down hat. And we will move on to the next phase in her life. And I'm excited for her. Me too. Wait, I am her. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. I can talk them into building me a tiny house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we live in a tiny house. <laughs> That's what she don't understand. Come on, all you moms out there. You know these kids got it good. They live that at is, home. That is very true. Okay. One last. And then this side of planting with a purpose is done. done. Woohoo! So, I'm going to go clean out the next one. That one's going to be a big job. Y'all saw all oh, that yeah. vine. Big job. But, here we go. Hope y'all like it. Decorations like dad's old plow, some little planters, some rocks, and this one already had dirt in it, so we're just gonna fill it up halfway. Um, yeah, we're going to be. <laughs> They could be anywhere. They could be anywhere. And I'm already a little giddy. On edge. Let's see how that but did y'all notice our dogs? They're not protector dogs. No, they gone. They were underneath our feet, scared. So what are we going to do this time? We're going to plant from the back <laughs> Forward. Do you have eyes on the little one? No. <laughs> there she is. Just when I thought I had gotten up all of that, <laughs> it's still. It's coming up everywhere. Coming up everywhere.
Heavy rock, heavy rock. So, have I got it in here right? You want me to tilt it back where you put the tongue yeah. on it, or do you not? Yeah. I would do it by the end there. Teamwork. Let's do it. Right, let's do it. What is that? This is broccoli. So I've kind of changed my plans on this one. Um, the G Wiz was my grandfather's, and I think I want to keep this in here because it's kind of sentimental to me. Um, so. I may not be able to plant as much, but I am going to plant around it. Planting from the back forward. That is our lovely guineas. Best watchdogs ever. All four of them back there. You don't think so? No. How about three? Uh, I'd say two behind it's going to be enough. Yeah. Three be fine. Just leave it. I'd put two behind it and I'd put one over at the back side. And I got more stuff to go in it. Did you hear me say you have three rocks? Okay. Yep. Brussels sprouts get really tall. Yeah. I think it's looking good.
Planning sweet potatoes. Josie. Jojo's, come here. A jealous butt. Daddy's doing something. She wants to be up there with him. Well, guys, we're finally finished. Yay! Uh, um, this part of planning with the purpose is the is like the the vegetable side. I will be taking over and spearheading all of the different herbs and stuff like that. So that'll be part two of planning with a purpose. You want to check it out? Hey, and if you don't mind, go go to our Facebook page, Diamond Bee Farms. Like, share, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, hit that notification bell because you're going to want to see what else we got going. And it's, it's always something here at the farm. Trust me. Next, we may even do, we may even show you what they look like after they get a bath and shaved. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be doing that. <laughs> so, thanks. Bye, everyone.